So, I mean, and I'm sure you've done plenty of these before. I, always I will also. incorporate yours, yes, into yeah. mine. There you go. I sure will. Um, so, the name of the movie, your name, and your character. Um, my name is Martin Freeman. Down there or to you? To me. Okay. Uh, my name is Martin Freeman. I play Bert. I was going to say Bert Ward. <laughs> Fuck. I play Charlie. Okay. Um, What's the name of the movie? Ode to Joy now. Yeah. Uh, my name is Martin Freeman. I play Charlie in Ode to Joy. Great. So, um, why, how did you become involved in the project and, uh, and what drew you to it? Um, I was sent the script about two years ago. When it was actually in, in remarkably uh, similar shape, the script, um, via my American agents, and then I had a Skype call with Jason, and we got on very well. And I, what I liked about it was it was genuinely funny, and it was moving. Um, like a romantic comedy, it, if it's both romantic and funny, then that's, you're on to a winner. I think it, a lot of romantic comedies are neither of those things. Um, but I really liked the humor in this. There were good characters, not just mine, but there were like four very strong characters. Um, and J yeah, so I, I love Max's script, but also I just liked Jason as a person from what I, when I spoke to him and met him on Skype. He, he seemed like a very, very ebullient, uh, fun, smart person. So that's why I got involved. Um, and what can you tell us a little bit about what the film is about? The film, from my perspective, of course, because going on my character being the center of the universe, um, it's about a man, Charlie, who tries to overcome a physical condition, uh, which is uh, narcolepsy with cataplexy, uh, in order to not only find love and be able to be in love, but to have normal human relationships. Uh, but the primary one being he is allowed by the end of the movie to fall in love in his way. And before that, he can't do it, and he's never been able to do it. Um, and what is the tone and the theme of the film uh, that resonate the most with you? I won't be able to answer that very well. Okay. That'll be me um, waffling can on. Can you tell us which character... Oh, no, that's really good. Um, can you talk a little bit more about Charlie? Um, yeah, Charlie is a librarian. He has a brother and a sister. We see more of his brother in the movie than his sister. Uh, he's the oldest of three children. Uh, and I think he, as a young person, he was diagnosed with narcolepsy with cataplexy, and it's colored his life ever since then. Certainly in, in the area of romance and just being able to relate one-on-one -on -one to a woman. Um, he is kind of lobotomized that part of his brain and that part of his life. He's just kind of sealed it off so that he doesn't go anywhere near it until we pick him up in this movie and he gets kind of hit by a thunderbolt in the shape of Francesca. Um, and through various means, he, he struggles to find a way that he can be with her. But yeah, up till this point in the, the, the we join him, he's just left that completely alone. And I think it has made him there's quite a, a ceiling of his happiness. I think, I think Charlie would rather operate at a, a five all the way through life. It's fairly uneventful because if he, if he gets a 10, that's not great for him. Um, and he, does, he doesn't want to be unhappy, but if he gets to be really happy, that's the thing, his condition, he tends to pass out when he is extremely happy. So if he falls in love, of course, that's disastrous because he just uh, he hits the floor. So. Um, He's very steady, literally, but he's, he's steady and, uh, as a result, not very um, adventurous. He has very strong patterns in his life, which he has to, which he has to follow. Um, what drew you to this project about playing a character with a disease such as cataplexy? It wasn't really the disease that um, drew me drew me to it, actually. It was just the story, and, I, and I, liked, I liked him, but I liked the other people in the movie as well, and I liked Max's sense of humor a lot. Um, so it wasn't, for me, it wasn't really a thing of, um, oh, I've never played cataplectic before, so I must do that. It was more, um, I, just liked, I just liked him, and I liked what he was having to overcome and go through. Um, yeah, that was all.